Welcome one and welcome all to the People's Channel, Orchids for Dummies, a place where people are getting their life. Now, in today's video, Foul Pals, what we are doing is showing you how to care for all of your orchids in the winter season indoors. Now, I want you to know this is going to be a series, but in this series, we're going to talk about how to categorize all of your orchids indoors for a watering winter schedule. Stay tuned! <laughs> So the first thing that you want to know with all of your orchids growing indoors, you will have um, orchids that's grown in moss, you will have orchids that's grown in bark, you will have orchids that's in a ventilated pot, and you will have your orchids that's in water culture and that's is mounted. Now, all of these orchids are going to be watered differently because the water requirement for all of these orchids are going to be completely different. Now, get your pen and pencil because first and foremost, you will have your orchids that is actively growing. They are either in spike or they are growing new leaves and new roots as they are in their vegetative state. You also will have orchids that are dormant in this winter season, meaning that they are doing nothing at all. There's nothing wrong with them. They are just taking a winter rest. If they are growing new roots or new leaves, it's very slowly. So all of this is going to play a major factor on how to water these orchids and to fertilize them. So it's going to be very important that you stay tuned to this series so you will have a better understanding, new beginners, on how to water all of your orchids differently. Okay, Foul Pal. So up next or up first is going to be the orchids that we have in complete 100% moss. Okay, whether it be sphagnum moss or peat moss. Moss is very retentive, is also retentive of nutrients. So moss is going to be the ones that you would water the least. And I would suggest you water them between seven and 10 days, okay? Now, if you have a orchid that is actively growing in moss, such as um, your flower spike and your new leaves and new roots versus your orchid that is dormant, which is taking a winter rest. This orchid right here, I would fertilize once a month, okay? You wanna know my watering regime? I will leave a video link above. Now, my orchids that is doing nothing, I would just use complete rainwater for that orchid. And that is going to be seven to 10 days. But tip and trick is going to be um, the Dolly Parton, taking note of how heavy the pot is because it should be very light when you get ready to water it. The roots should be very gray when you get ready to water it, just as this is, okay? Now, next up is bark. So, stay oh, up next, Foul Pals. These are orchids that you first want to take into consideration that different orchids in your home have different water requirements, such as this dendrobium over here that doesn't like to stay too wet or too dry for too long. So, you want to take that into consideration. Now, the Phalaenopsis orchid over here, it has its period where it likes to be dry for an extra day or two, especially in the winter. Now this right here, both are com in complete bark, but this one right here is in a ventilated pot. So bark is not water retentive, and with it being in a ventilated pot like this, it's going to dry out a lot faster. The same as this orchid right here, which just has a layer of moss on top because it doesn't like to be too wet or too dry. But inside of the pot is complete bark. So these orchids right here are the ones that I'm going to water between um, five and seven days. Now this orchid right here has a layer of moss on top as well. As you can see, the new root tips are being developed. So I would just sprinkle every now, but every three, four days, just put a little water on top to keep that layer on top moist because when you have new roots being developed, 
when you have um, new canes being developed, you want to keep that top layer moist, but keep it in consideration that the bottom of the pot, especially in a closed container like this, would have water sitting at the bottom of it. Okay, stay tuned, Fab Pals. Up next is Clay Pots and Vinyl. Thanks for staying tuned, Fab Pals. Thank you, thank you. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the People's Channel Orchids for dummies. <laughs> now, Fab Pals, up next, you want to take into consideration your orchids that you have and your clay pots and your ventilated pots. Now, this pot right here is in complete moss, okay? And it's in a ventilated pot. On the bottom, it's just Paralyte just to help with drainage, but this is going to be complete moss in a ventilated pot. This orchid right here, this ventilated pot right here is a lot more ventilated than that pot over there and it's in bark. So this dries out very fast, okay? Very, very fast, okay? This right here in a clay pot, I don't, and it has bark with just a top layer of moss. So I don't know if anyone else has this problem or not, but clay pots are very porous. So I would water these orchids in two days and come back, honey, and she's almost bone dry. So these orchids right here that is very ventilated with bark. Now, if this pot right here had the moss in it, it would dry out a lot faster than this one right here. But not to confuse you because the pots and the way that they are set up, these right here, I would water between every four, five days. But like I said, making sure that I'm checking the weight of the pot as well. Now, last up on the list is your water culture and mounted orchids. We are going to talk about how often that you should water those. Stay and tuned. remember that this is a series. We have not even talked about um, how to fertilize them and what type of water to use. Right now, the only thing that we are doing is categorizing them so we will be able to put them on a schedule to keep up with the water regime that we are giving them because we don't want to water all of these orchids the same and um, in fact, actually overwater them or underwater some. So by us getting organized and putting our orchids on a regime that is going to give us optimum care for the winter. Okay, Fab Pals? So you have your orchids that's in a basket that is mounted and that you have growing in the method called water culture. Now, my water culture method is every day or every other day, I would give it a dry day. But usually what I would do is every day, I would refill the water in my water culture. I would water um, my mounted orchids and then I would um, put my mounted orchids up and my water culture orchids, I would pour the water out at night. My bandas and orchids that I have inside of a wooden basket, I would water them, but if they're in bloom, I would water them every three to four days. If they are in spike or actively growing, I would water those every two days. Well, Fowl Pals, I hope I am making some sense. I hope that you new beginners are learning how to care for your orchids in the winter, indoors. If you have any questions, please leave it at the bottom of the page. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Join my Facebook group, darling. Foul pal, you will have a family to support you in these long winter months. Well, foul pals, until next time.